Alrighty, as always, let's play this in full first. Pa Pam. One more time. Pa Pam. And one more time. Pa Pam. Cool. All right. You are saying here, this is your character doing a punch to a big flower sack. And you have an animated cloth and hair. And you're totally aware that sometimes the geometry oversteps each other. That's all right. So there are a couple of things. I think... I think we could just push the idea a bit more in terms of posing. There are a couple of things. This is almost a default pose, so you might want to think in terms of is she more in a in a battle ready pose? This is a horrible drawing, but you know something that's a bit more, you know, it might even be already something a bit more like this with a different, slightly different pose, but more in action. Unless you wanted to loop but it doesn't so it just seems to be uh just an attack so for me already the the beginning potentially could be more dynamic and then i'd be careful as you get into this you get into into some strange posing where like this would be more her on the horse or something like some of the poses could be just a bit more appealing and then also more dynamic where if you have that going back into a dissipation this seems more like come at me bro or Hey, I didn't order this coffee and not like I'm about to punch the, you know, living crap out of this. So it's also a bit of a W pose, a bit twins. I think it could be just a bit more dynamic. And then you don't need that much room in here, meaning that I think you could easily have your character here and then the flower sack around here just to give this, you know, potentially she will lean back more and all kinds of things in terms of posing, but you want to have enough room on this side. And then it's a bit pose to pose as just everything moves as one so to me you have to look at what you want to lead it could be that she <coughs> excuse me she leans forward with her hips potentially more to get into a c curve like this with uh, a big drag on the shoulder and then as she goes forward you know again that we not have this crazy wide stance here this seems a bit better but you could have a bit more of a curved leg pose with a more straight arm out it's really like a bit more of a dynamic line of action but again i will go back into a more interesting pose at the beginning that's a bit more descriptive of of what's going on and then into a more dynamic anticipation you can have a bit of a lower drop potentially as well then the punch could also lead more You're leading with the chest there a bit a bit I, I potentially i mean either bring this for the back you know with my awesome arm drawing or in upper pose to then have a bigger arc for, not that it has to be like an uppercut, but just something a bit more dynamic. And I mean, there are many, many um, game reels out there with, with punches and all kinds of things for reference. It just seems a bit tame. That's probably the, the strongest pose, but even then it feels, can even draw a straight line here. It just feels just a bit stiff with that type of posing there. Oh. But even then, once you're back here, you have that weird lift on the foot. Be careful, but it looks like the toe gets off the ground. So now there's all the way is technically on this leg as this goes up. So it doesn't feel like there's enough weight on it. So I will go into a bigger foot roll. But then, bam! This also seems a bit of a, a timid step forward that doesn't quite engage the hips as well. To me, it seems like you can go really big into anticipation, then, bam! Into a step where almost that, that foot steps up to here. And just that, just a bit more dynamic. I mean, that's kind of the main thing where everything feels just a bit timid. And this just feels a bit strange with this foot sliding forward. This still going up a bit, not quite buying the weight. And it's slightly off balance where uh, to me, it feels like you want to, after all that momentum forward, have that root at least here for, for more of a lean and then take one step forward. But this also depends how far you want to go with this. Um, but to me, it seems like this could just be pushed, balanced a bit more uh, compositionally, but also just pushed in terms of posing where, again, this seems more like, hey, what's going on versus an anticipation to a punch. And you can always look at even like 2D game, you know, like Street Fighter, old school or new games, whatever you want to do in terms of reference, but, uh, you know, or act it out and you punch something, <laughs> whatever your process is. But uh, to me, it seems like it just seems all very timid. A bit timid and a bit stiff. It's a bit of a stiff line there. That seems a bit 
a bit stiff there that just some strange poses there and that's probably the most dynamic one but then still fairly stiff where i'm going to more of a bigger arc and then a follow through with all that momentum going forward into a, a stronger step forward but that's just me all right that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you